My name's Andrew Ellis and I'm IDEA's Interim Regional Director for Asia and the Pacific, um, based in Canberra, Australia. Um, I'm standing in for my successor as Regional Director, Lena Rikula Tamang, who is currently away on parental leave. I've been involved in the democratic process for 45 years now, 20 within the political process in the UK and the last 25 years working as an international advisor on elections, on constitutions, on political dialogue and other aspects of democracy building. Um, with IDEA, I've been the author and the editor of a number of IDEA's global electoral publications and knowledge resources. And in Asia and the Pacific, we carry that through in the regional program. IDEA is the only intergovernmental organisation that has a specific role to support the building of democracy and that means within Asia and the Pacific we have a particular task with governments, with regional organisations, ASEAN, SARC and the Pacific Islands Forum and with statutory bodies like electoral management bodies and political party regulatory commissions um, to provide input in the form of comparative and non-prescriptive uh, knowledge, expertise and experience that assists local people, local actors in building their own democracy across the region. This is a tremendously exciting time in Asia and in the Pacific. In Asia in particular, which is a growing and confident um, large region of the world, we have seen in the last 70 years the growth of democratic Asia, the independence of India and its establishment as a long-standing and highly respected democracy. We have seen democracy build and root itself in Japan, in the Republic of Korea, in Indonesia, in the Philippines, in Mongolia and in other countries in the region. And we have seen in the Pacific uh, states becoming independent establishing democracies and maintaining those democracies over many years. I think that the democratic experience in Asia and in the Pacific has a great deal to offer both other countries in the same region and the rest of the world and I shall be pleased and proud of the role that IDEA can play to support democratic Asia um, in, in doing that. Let me identify first five challenges that democracy builders face in different parts of the region. The first one deals with institutional frameworks, constitutions, elections, laws, regulations, that support and encourage democratic structures um, democratic, uh, and the democratic involvement of the people that produce legitimacy and credibility of government. The second one is service delivery, making sure that government and in particular government on the ground at local level provides education, health, infrastructure, um, what communities need and campaign for on the ground. The third is that much of Asia and the Pacific is unfortunately prone from time to time to natural disaster and the process of coping with that 
of recovering from it, of government being responsive and supportive um, in the wake of natural disaster is of particular importance in, in the region. The fourth is the role of money in politics and the continuing campaign against corruption. And the fifth is the long struggle to build the role of women in politics and, and government across the region at all levels. What can IDEA do? What is IDEA doing to respond to those challenges? First, IDEA has three specific country level programmes supporting democratic transitions. IDEA has been working in Nepal for about 10 years now on constitutional dialogue, on supporting the different actors who are building the new constitution of Nepal, the new framework of Nepal, in identifying options in, and in discussing them, and in supporting the election commission of Nepal, of Nepal in holding legitimate and credible elections and through ideas electoral risk management tool, um, identifying threats and working out responses to them. In Myanmar, IDEA heads a consortium supported by the European Commission, um, which is covering many aspects of the new Myanmar democratic process. IDEA's particular role is to support the Union Election Commission of Myanmar as it puts its first crucial general elections together. In Bhutan, IDEA, on a, on a rather smaller scale, is working both with the Election Commission and with the Legislature as they become more established um, and increasingly effective. In addition to these, these country programmes, IDEA has regional initiatives. IDEA publications are translated into the languages of the region, for example into Thai, into Indonesian, into Vietnamese, so that people debating democracy, people thinking about how to build democratic institutions, can easily access, both in hard copy and on the web, the material that can support those discussions. IDEA works with the regional organisations directly just in the last few weeks. IDEA and ASEAN have cooperated as ASEAN held a workshop attended by all 10 of its member states looking at the issues and practicalities about electoral observation in the region and pulling in the experience and the expertise of other regional organisations around the world. Money in politics is an extremely important idea initiative, a new source of idea knowledge, and will be discussed and disseminated both in South Asia in Delhi later this year and in Southeast Asia in Bandung in Indonesia as part of the 60th anniversary celebrations for the setting up of the non-aligned movement. Finally, I would highlight a particular project on service delivery issues that IDEA is currently engaged in. In the Philippines, following Hurricane Yolanda, which cut across the centre of the Philippines, causing huge amounts of damage in and around Tacloban um, recently. Uh, the opportunity is being taken by local communities, by Philippine academic institutions and by IDEA to look at the relationship between local institutions, whether they support or whether they get in the way of effective recovery after those disasters and it will be very interesting to see the result of those debates, of those discussions, um, of those assessments on the ground 
as the Philippines continues its work in thinking how most effectively to respond to disasters that do sadly strike from time to time. It's a wide-ranging programme, it's an ambitious programme, there is a lot more to do in the region and there is a huge amount that the region can contribute as knowledge and as expertise in the rest of the world and I'm proud of Ideas role in being able to support that.